Hey, this is Dr. Paul Baker with Renew Stem, and I have Paul Kennedy here. And three months ago, Paul had his low back, his right hip, and his right knee injected. And just to preface the case a little bit, his right hip was, I've been practicing for 24 years now, his right hip had very, very severe degenerative changes. Uh, probably one of the worst hips I've seen. And I actually told Paul, you probably have maybe a 20% chance of success. Didn't I say that, Paul? Yes. And um, we're going to hear his story on how he actually did with his hip and his uh, with with his hip and his knee. So, Paul, go ahead, take it away. Um, let's talk about how you felt before your injections for the hip and the and the knee. Can I take it anyway, yeah, the, the beforehand after I had to take go off anti-inflammatory, it was really, really, really painful. I was like, I don't know if I could do this. If this doesn't work, I don't know if I can make it three months. So it was really painful. I had really sharp pain in my hip and pain in my knee, really sharp. When I didn't want to move, I really tried to stay not to move. Right. If I had to go to the kitchen or to the bathroom, I made it worth my while because I wasn't going to go back. And this so, was pre-injection? That was pre-injection. Uh -huh. And then you said the week before, like, we don't want our patients taking the anti-inflammatories. You said that was horrible pain, correct? Right. That's what I was talking about before. When I went off the anti-inflammatories, that was that's where I felt the really sharp pain. I didn't realize how much pain I was in because I was taking so many anti-inflammatories beforehand. So I went off the anti-inflammatories the Friday before, made it through the weekend, and yeah, I was able to take Tylenol. And I was like, I don't know if I could do this after the injection. If it doesn't work, I don't know if I can go 90 days. But after the, then the injection, and the injection was really a very in, simple thing. It was less than a flu shot type of deal. It was very comfortable. And wasn't any pain, but still the regular pain was there. So that was a Friday, and then Wednesday I realized that I wasn't in pain most of the day, and then Thursday I wasn't in pain at all, and haven't been in pain since. Hmm. And so my mobility has changed quite a bit. In fact, I was videotaping myself daily, and then after that Thursday, it just it's always been good. So I used to go upstairs one step at a time, always dragging that right leg, and now it's like up and down the stairs and walking around and I don't think twice about going if I got to go to the car and it doesn't bother me it's not like a dreadful thing right so well, that, the move mobility has really changed quite a bit back in the gym able to do cardio I don't handle myself to a certain cardio which before was something that didn't move my hip or my knee very much but now I'm just trying to find something larger range yeah that's awesome and then uh, pre-injection the week that you were off all of your medications where would you rate your your hip pain and your knee pain on a one to ten? Ten being the worst. It was over nine, if not ten. And right. Then especially the hip, then well, the knee, because you have so much pain, you don't notice the hip, one pain over the other. So sure. the hip was always the harder pain. So it, uh, that was like nine, ten. Right. The hip, the knee was probably right underneath it. Okay, and then post injection, three months today. Oh, um, I don't have one. I, I filled that sheet out, yeah. one or zero or what that, and I don't know that, you know, one is just like, ah, that's probably normal being my age and my weight pain, you know. Right, right. Well, that's fantastic. And one last question. Would you actually recommend this procedure to family and friends? Oh, I have. Yes. I don't know how many people on Facebook have asked me and follow up with me and follow up with me. They constantly are asking, right. and which reminds me I have to do a little follow up after today because I forget about it. I don't even think about it now. So sure. the one thing they did ask me was, how long is this going to last? And what's, when I tell them, I was like, well, until I wear it out again, I guess. Right. I, it's, it's, I re, it's the hip and, I, and seeing my back is straightened out, that's why I wore it out. So that's right. not going to happen. Right. So I'll probably wear something else out besides yeah, that. Now. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. And the reason I was so excited to do your reval after three months is, like I told you, and like we talked about, your hip was so bad. And I gave it a 20% success chance, and now you're sitting here today pain-free. I'm, I'm just so excited. and thank You weren't you. the only one. Yes. I had yeah. three other doctors <laughs> tell me you're not a candidate. Right. So, and then you, you said, well, it's up to you. Yes. And, you know, I'm, I'm not in pain now at all. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, uh, thank you so much for sharing your testimony. We appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to you doing better and better. Yeah, thanks.